Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to do a tool update video and some of the things that I've been using behind the scenes quite often and I think they deserve a video to be honest. And there's some things here that I just recently got and we're just going to take a quick look at as well. So let's start with the things that I truly recommend, highly recommend and that I've been using for quite a while. We're going to go into the SMD component parts here. Now I do highly recommend this solder paste. This thing is amazing and it's the thing that I use for all of my SMD component projects and I, I truly do highly recommend it's really good stuff it has flux in itself and um it just works great so if you're looking for solder paste this is a really great one there's plenty out there also but this is the one that i've used i like it and i'm just constantly purchasing it and it's really well priced now something else that's really important and i actually get asked quite a lot is the solder paste that i use i actually use this one which i found i purchased a couple different brands off of banggood and here in europe what's really nice is they give you the syringe the the top to close it and everything and it just works really good however it's not no clean flux so you will have to get some kind of alcohol to clean after you use it it does leave some sort of a mess as flux it works really great well priced and they provide you with everything you need here i mean but this is the one that stands out the most because it's just the most complete package and it works really really great let's move to the glue part real quick so I got this FR Sky glue here and this is the thing that we usually see on their antennas it's non-conductive and what's really nice is that, for example, you have an IPEX port like this and anything. It does take a couple hours to dry. So usually FR Sky doesn't put that much. But now since you own the glue, you could put a ton load. That's what I like to do here. And there we go. And that should be held pretty well. I mean, I probably overdid it here. But however, one thing with this is whatever is left inside this part right here will have to be washed out or it'll dry in there. So basically, I just lost all of this glue right here. So that's the only drawback to this. But other than that, it works really great. So I highly recommend to do these in a bundle if you have something to glue here. All right, now let's move to pliers. Now there isn't a shortage of pliers on the universe or in the planet, um, but I did pick up this because it looked really nice and it works out really great. So I'll have this one linked down below. Uh, these ceramic tweezers are really great, but unfortunately with any tweezer, they never used only for the things they're intended to. And that is a very bad habit of mine that I constantly go through tweezers. I tried to do something else with it and obviously I broke it. But these are ceramic tweezers, which means they don't heat up while you're working on something. And they could take a lot of heat and abuse. Not abuse as in using them in something that's not intended for. Uh, but overall, they're really great. Now for hex drivers and hex tools, so far I've gotten three different types. Those titanium coated ones. There's this one, the Danu ones. They're really great. I've had them, I think, for almost more than a year now. And I still use them to this day. I did break one, however, obviously using it for something that I wasn't intended for. I broke it around here. Um, but as you can tell here, this is the two millimeter, which I use quite frequently. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Um, it's still pretty sharp. It still doesn't strip anything. So in terms of durability and longevity, uh, they're totally worth every single penny that I paid for these. And then there was also later on another kit that I purchased uh, that came with all types of, you know, uh, titanium coated screws. It's a really good kit, but there's an issue after a while of using it. What I've noticed is the handle is really terrible. Um, not in the fact that it'll break or anything, but it'll just leave you blisters if you are screwing in a bunch of screws. For example, when I built a really large uh, hex copter, it had a ton of load of screws and I was using these and it just left me blisters all over. So that's the only downside to this kit and I'll have it linked down below. I'll call it the blister kit. And recently I saw this one. I really like this one because it just um, allows me to use less space. Uh, it's the same concept. I still haven't used it much, maybe just on one quadcopter so far. But what this one does is it provides you with everything as an attachable or a detachable set. You get all everything you need from 1.5 all the way up to three millimeters. Uh, and it comes with this 3D printed thing in this case. So, I mean, it's, it's nice that they provide something with it. It's, so far, I haven't had much use of it. I just wanted to show it to you guys. So I don't know if I'd recommend it just yet, but um, it sticks via just magnets. All right, now this one here, I've never made a video for it, but I do use it a lot. It's a microscope, an HD microscope. It has SD card uh, expansion, so you could record directly to the SD card. It has an HDMI output, which is really nice. And it also has a USB output. So you can even output this to an OBS uh, software that's used for streaming. So it has so many functionality. I forgot the cost of this. I got it quite a while ago. Um, but it's a really, really great microscope for SMD work. I really do like it. However, the only thing that's a big drawback for me currently is the stand here. If I'm going to work under it, it makes it a bit difficult. So I'm going to have to probably design something else 
for the bottom here. But for uh, debugging purposes or checking something, it's a really, really great device that I constantly use. And if you guys are interested, I'll make a separate video for this in a later video. Um, let me know down in the comment section and I can do that. And I also got this. I've always wanted one of these and I never really purchased one um, except recently because um, I do have the open hardware ESC, which will be the next video. I'm going to be building this guy and we're going to be salvaging components and also testing this new platform right here. Looks like a really nice platform where you could put the hot, hot air gun here, move it away, bring it back. It's really solid. I mean, these are by magnets. The bottom plate is just thick aluminum or thick, some sort of a thick metal. And um, it, it just works really great so far. So we're gonna actually going to see this in use in a later video, but I'll have it linked down below. It's kind of on the expensive side. This is $50, but what it does is it comes with these stands here and these, and they even give you a screwdriver. They also give you one. Uh, this is not meant to hold stuff, but I'm just using it to hold stuff. I just find it very practical and useful. And they give you one little SMD tweezer here, which is it's a really nice addition that they do that. And you can tighten this down. So it's just really nice because you can just hold it and then you, the hot air gun will just be right here and you can just move this back and forth over your board. So I really like that. Any mounting solution is pretty decent. Obviously, we're going to see this in the upcoming videos. I haven't used it much. Actually, I haven't even used it. I just put it together and just try to get a feel for it, see if it's actually useful. And uh, I'm actually quite excited to use it and see it on the channel. So we're going to be using this little stand thingy uh, for building the open hardware ESC which is going to be in, I think, the next video, possibly. Now, talking about the open hardware projects, I've also, I've always wanted one of those tweezer testers, like this one here, and I finally decided to pick one up, and I picked this one up. Now, I don't know if I recommend it just yet. I, I didn't really use it, like, use it, use it, but I did just play around with it, just see if it's working. And the ease of use is really great. You can choose, this is resistor mode, and this is continuity mode, this is diode mode, so, it's really nice. And what is this, Farron? I can't see. And this is a capacitor mode. And what do we have? And this is like auto auto mode, I think. Yeah, so here, I'll show you a quick example. Here's a Racer Star 80 amp ESC. It's because I'm going to salvage the diodes off of this one. So we're going to test, what are we? We're in resistor mode. So here's a resistor right there. And it's really fast at testing. I'm just trying to line everything up for you. There you go. 220 ohm resistor. It's really quick. Look at these really tiny resistors. I don't even think you guys will be able to see those. So I'm going to try to get everything in shot. You have to understand it's really far away from me. So yeah, it's working great, but I still haven't had much time to use this thing. It'll have an update video later on. I just wanted to show it because I'm actually really excited to use it. I really want to use it. And it comes in a really nice box and some extra tips here just in case you're in them. Supposedly these are gold plated. I, to be honest, I really don't care, but as long as it works and it works pretty quick, it's way better than uh, holding my multimeter and trying to probe at those resistors. However, I don't like the tips just yet, or maybe I'm just not used to them. So time will tell when we use this. Maybe I'll purchase another one. We can compare a couple of them together, which will be a pretty interesting video. And I'm also going to be creating an update video on my soldering station because I do have quite a lot from Banggood. So well, we're going to revisit those. I tell you what's the benefit from this one, why I stopped using this one, why am I only using these two. So I think those are th that type of information is going to be very useful. And that's what I'm aiming for here. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Everything is linked down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.